Hey guys, my name is Russell and I make guide and race videos for iRacing on YouTube. If that sounds like it might be up your street, please do consider hitting that subscribe mm -hmm. button and that little bell to get notified when I release a new video. We are here for VRS GT Sprint Season 4 2020 Week 10 and we're at Nürburgring GP. Um, cracking track, one of my absolute favourites. Uh, I want to say it's in my top five, but I think I've already said that more than five times this season alone. So it's right up there for sure. Uh, probably one of the most challenging first sectors of any um, of the major, major sort of top tier tracks on the service. Um, so we are going to do the usual thing. We are going to do an in-car lap. Um, uh, and show you the inputs and, and show you what's going on there. Then we'll do a chase cam lap so you can see where the car's positioned a little bit better on the track. Uh, and then after that, we'll break down every corner, sort of go through, you know, why I'm doing what and where, um, you know, where to break, where to turn in, uh, that kind of thing. Hopefully, you'll find it helpful for racing this week because it's going to be a top, top week of racing here, uh, no doubt. So if you find it helpful, if it shaves some time off your lap times, please do drop a comment down below. Please do hit like on the video. It really goes a long way to help me out. Uh, and I'm always keen to hear how you're getting on with your racing. Hopefully, I'll see you out there on the track at some point this week. Cheers, guys. Have a good one.
Okay, guys, so that was my 155.845 here at Nurburg Ring GP. Um, we're coming down the straight now, and we're hanging over to the left, and we're watching for the dip in the track. And we want to break basically a little bit before the 100 board, bearing in mind we can only really do this once our tyres are super hot. You're going to want to break a little bit earlier here before then, otherwise you're going to overshoot massively. So we're just before the 100 board, just before the curbing starts on the left. And we're going to break really heavily. Bearing in mind we're breaking downhill. We're breaking for what's essentially this, the, the slowest corner on the course. Um, and we're looking ahead at the 50 board. We're coming right down through the gears as quickly as we can. And just as we're getting into first and the curb is about to run out. We are making our turn in and basically we want to turn as absolutely close to the uh, little pole here, right on the apex. And we're going to jump over just the edge of the track. Any more than this, you're going to get you're going to get a slowdown. It's quite a fine line here. And as soon as we're cresting here, we want to start accelerating. Quite hard in first gear keep that turning angle on unwind get yourself up to second we want to go about two-thirds of the way over the track you know we're, we're probably closer to center than we are over to the right and we're going to start our turn in we're going to peel off the accelerator and once we get to this little tuft of extra green grass and amongst the dirt here on this apex that's when we want to start our acceleration. Maintain a strong steering angle here. And then unwind so we can get up to 100% throttle and still make the outside curb. Very unforgiving off track here on the left. Now, there's 8,000 ways you can approach this corner. Um, and the absolute safest and best way is to turn in early break hard in a straight line uh, and that's exactly what we're going to do here so we're turning in we're breaking hard we're aiming ourselves for the inside curb here and we're down to second we're going to continue to bleed out the brake as we go around the apex and we want to cut off as much of the track here as we can and our ultimate goal is to be as far over to the left hand side of the track as possible without catching an off track and that's easily done so we're right over to the left and we're starting accelerating now and this is important we need to get the hammer down quickly here the slower you are on the accelerator for this complex the, the worst your lap's going to be it's just the easiest place to lose time around the side, entire track toughest bit of track this took me a long time to you know sort of get this down and i and i've still got a lot of time to gain here really uh so we we are on the accelerator now we're lifting f slightly as we turn into the right we're going to catch a little bit of this curb again too much it's going to be an off track but we're about 75 percent throttle at the moment and that's fine we're not going to lose traction on that basis and then we can use uh, anything after the dark green on the uh, beyond the um, red and white curbing. So the lighter green, we can travel over that a little way. And we're doing this to limit the angle that we're having to turn the wheel so that we can accelerate more. So it's a really slow section through there. You can technically do it quicker if you drop to first. But if you do drop to first, you're going to struggle with uh, traction you're going to spin the wheels you might actually just lose the car entirely keep it in second gear um doesn't matter that the car's going to be bogged down slightly because you're still going to benefit from the acceleration and good traction uh, that you're going to get so make the most of this um exit here obviously back on the track before that grass starts we're right over to the right hand side of the track now we're a relatively fast left-hander just be super careful here at the end here by the cones where, where we're ultimately going to just break a little bit, 
drop down a couple of gears it's very easy to get your back wheels on this patch of dirt here on the right immediately past the white line um i've lost the car there so many times i i go out of my way now to not park myself too far over to the right here it's just not worth it so we're down to third we're, we're on the accelerator at the apex again and then here just before the end of the curbing on the left and we've managed to get ourselves positioned mid track which is probably about as, as good as it's going to get um you know you want to carry that speed around that last corner it's important um so it's a compromise between carrying the speed and then car position for this next corner mid track is ample for this corner we're going to start our braking just before the curbing on the left runs out we're going to come down to second and we're just going to um have a nice tight apex we don't really want to mount this curb here you are going to lose traction the wheel's going to spin that's going to slow you down on exit what the, the the key here is to get on the accelerator before you actually exit there's lots and lots of exit available after the left hand curb so we're going to use that and that's going to allow us to unravel the wheel more get more speed out of the car we're going to bring it up to fifth we're already looking down on the left hand side there's a little patch of concrete down here on the left just at the end of that a gray curbing starts and this as soon as we touch this curbing is going to be our signal to jam the brakes and then we want to point the car in to the edge of the curb that we can see on the right hand side right right deep down into the corner there that isn't the apex point but it's the point that we want the car to catch in because there's a really nice camber there that's going to help us carry the corner as quick as we can so we're all the way down to third we're still braking we're still braking we're still braking and now at this point we're just hitting the apex we're right out of the brake now we've bled all the way out nice and steadily and now we can jam the accelerator now i actually went on the gas a little bit too quick here and you notice i had to drop out um i kind of misjudged uh, my steering angle a little bit and started to unravel the wheel too soon so um just bear that in mind so we're out using all the exit there and now we're letting the car travel over to the right we're going to mount this curb and then just after this patch of slightly lighter dirt on the ground here um that is our signal to turn in now we can take this flat only on warm tires first couple of laps first lap at least you're not going to want to do this flat at all um but as long as you turn in just after this lighter patch of dirt the car with with the same steering angle will just hug nice and tight to this inside curb again we don't want to use that inside curb there because it will push us wide here and if you catch any of the sand on the right that's an instant slowdown in fact the car's also going to get really quite upset and you can spin it on exit here quite easily but we are we, we got a really good turn in there it was bang on the money so we're already up to fifth at this point which is ideal and we're just going to ride that curb round to the right such an easy slow down there one to watch so over to the right under the bridge and in between the bridge and the 100 board we are going to break down to third relatively firmly but we want to bleed out quite quickly it's quite it this corner actually from this angle looks tighter than it really is you can carry more speed than you think and really you can carry enough that you can be on the accelerator right before you apex as long as you're not at 100% gas when you go over there uh, over the actual green curbing you're fine um so just drop drop the drop the throttle down um a good percentage you know maybe 80 70 percent and you'll make it through there and now what we want to do is really really gently now we've thrown the car back over to the left is really really gently brush the brakes as we come out of the accelerator and turn in here and we just want to get the car to stick towards the inside of the curb get on the accelerator really gently and 
progressively so that we can find this exit while carrying as much speed as we absolutely can easy to overshoot this corner if you do overshoot when you end up on the dirt just lift out the throttle a bit steer the car back onto the track as long as you lift out the throttle as long as you're not don't have your foot right down while you're steering in the sand it's as safe as houses and you don't actually necessarily even have to lose that much time so full throttle now and we've got a really slow chicane we've got the gp ch chicane coming up so we want to keep the car to the right we're watching these markers and we're watching for the middle marker just before it there is a little lighter patch of dirt on the track there that's what i've been using as my brake marker so just as i'm going over it i'm coming into the brakes we're going to brake really quite hard here we really want to keep the car well positioned as tight to the right as we can so we're right on that line and then as we reach the um sort of main clump of these tire marks that are going around to the left here uh the really sort of dark ones that's when we want to turn in you know we can just sort of see uh the curb opening up on the left now and like any other chicane we really need to sort of try and straight line it as much as we can so we're going to cut a chunk of the left curb off we're already back on the throttle at this point but we're not going to go to 100 percent throttle while we're mounting the curbs you know it's really going to upset the car if we do but if we just sort of frame forward here as we're mounting the curb we're essentially ready and and the car's positioned and pointing in the right direction to mount the next curb so we're, we're cutting as straight a line through this chicane as possible So we're up to full throttle for a moment and then we're back off the throttle. Well, I probably backed out the throttle too much there, really. As long as you're not on full throttle when you hit those big curbs, you're going to be okay. It looks messy, but it is repeatable. So, next stop, there's these um, tyre marks on the far left-hand side of the track here that are just starting. That's what I use as my point so I wait until the car's right on them and then I'm giving the brake a fair shove and then just bleeding out quite quickly. Dropping to second and carrying that speed through to the apex. And you can already see the apex. It's um, uh, right in front of the left hand BMW sign um, on the right hand side of the screen right now. That uh, little white pillar with the chevrons on it. That is where we want to have done the main bulk of our turning and we want to be pointing in towards the exit so we can really try and put some gas down. Now, I warn you, I didn't make a great job of this. I actually missed the apex on this corner a little bit. Didn't actually hurt me in a big way, but I would have liked to have been a lot tighter to the inside curb than I actually was. So let's see that. So we've done our main braking. Now we're really bleeding out we're down to second now ideally the car would have come in a lot tighter to that chevron at this point it didn't we're up to 80 95 percent and then as soon as that steering wheel goes below 90 degrees angle we are clear to put the hammer down and then we, we can push down to the line as quick as we can to start another lap here a nurberg gp love this track um really really competitive for racing let us know how you get on this week really keen to hear how your races go how your lap times stack up uh there's definitely more speed there's definitely more time on the table for this track but it's really really hard to hook up um you know sector one is is normally where i fall over um so let us know how you get on good luck guys and hopefully i might well see you out there on the track this week cheers